Hey all, welcome back to the table. Got a few new bits and bobs for some projects. Um, we've got the Fly Fly 90mm F86 Sabre on the go, just waiting for some other bits to turn up for that. Um, and we picked up another project today, hence we've got two new fans. Um, had a great deal on these, so I had to have a pair of them. Um, these are FMS. 80mm 12 blade units with 2000 kV motors. I'm sure, let's have a look. The 3270 kV 2000 motor, it's a Predator motor. So we've got two of these. Um, now, the Fly Fly Sabre um, is really, really light. So we're going to do it as a hand launcher um, and we're just going to run an 80mm in there. Um, the induction lip on this anyway is about about 92 mil or 94 mil out, so we'll, we'll have plenty to fill the uh, induction. We'll make another trash tube for the uh, saber, but nice units. I know they make a nice noise. It's going to be 6s. Got to get myself a couple of ESCs, a couple of hundred amp ESCs. second one out which is going to go into the new project model identical unit to the, uh, the first right and we've got a uh, we've got 74 mil mercury fan all metal quite a nice design actually it's, it's just pretty to look at strange set up the actual uh, Rotors at the rear of the fan, or sorry, at the rear of the um, the unit, and uh, the motors, the motors in the front. But I just like the looks of this, so I'm sure we can figure out what model to put this into. This will either be put into um, my 70 mil MiG 15 as a test bed, or we might bring the Vampire back alive with this and run it on 6S. But Lovely looking fan. I just like things. I've got so many fan units that haven't got homes, um, just because I've got a thing about fan units. A lot of um, RC Landy units, Doctor Mad Thrust units. Right. Put them out of the way. Right now. Uh, one more quick thing before we go into the new project. This I spent spent um, Saturday evening doing a build on the um, oh dear, we lost the canopy, on the Phase Three Lightning. Um, I haven't shown it yet, and I did do the build video a couple of nights ago. I'm having issues at the moment putting the uh, actual build video together. Um, it is a long video; it's about a half an hour video, so it'll take a little while to sort that one out but I thought I'd give you guys a quick look at the um, at the sort of semi-finished model I've still got to put alien servos in um, and I've still got to put the control rods on um, probably going to go for a set of uh, like Irvine style spinners or something like that with it and APC props because the uh, the spinners are a nightmare to get lined up and uh, I've got a feeling they're going to totally throw everything out of balance so we'll just go for a decent setup with some proper prop adapters on it. Um, lovely old model, all went together really, really nice. So we're gonna we're gonna be doing a paint job on this one um, in the uh, RAF Pathfinder scheme where three uh, P38s were um, were given to the RAF for testing um, for basically uh, leading on the bombers, dropping flares, that sort of thing, lighting up targets um, and longer range escorts. However. The ones assigned to the RAF um, had Allisons and they didn't have uh, superchargers. And the P38 that they were testing, um, basically at high altitude, they were, it was lacking in power because it didn't have superchargers. So um, the RAF never ended up actually putting them into full service. But the actual idea was they were going to 
they were going to be pathfinders, like I say, lead on targets, and they probably be, would have been also put into the use of photo uh, reconnaissance, that sort of thing. So we're going to do a scheme on it anyway like that, because I love the RF birds. So anyway, we'll move on from, from that. Got my little helper here. Be careful there, Bess. Good girl, well done. Make sure it don't fall off. <laughs> That's always scary, new model. Right, okay, so the new project that we are going to use one of these 80s in is an F4 Phantom. So, hold on a minute. It's the wrong one, Bess. It's the wrong one. I don't think that's going to fit. Oh dear. Ah. That's because it is the wrong one. Right. This is going to be another project. We have got a fly fly. F4 Phantom. She's, uh, she's pretty old. She's uh, a bit rashed up, but it's going to make a nice project. Try and sort everything out there on the table so we can lay it down. Um, yeah, she uh, needs a few odds and ends, a bit of foam. I'm going to cut, cut and splice um, some more surfaces into it. And I'm going to run, I'm say, going to run one of the FMS units in it. I'm going to use this again as a hand launcher. Um, at the moment, it's set up on Edelbon. Well, it's the model supposed to be set on Elevon, so obviously your, your turn and your elevation control both comes from the tower plane. We're going to cut ailerons into it, we're going to mount the servos on top, have the uh, control rods on top, because it's going to be a belly lander. A few little bits to be done on it, going to make some nozzles on there, um, probably uh, tidy up, well tidy it all up, but this will be going into the same scheme as the little 64 mil Phantom. A lot of people who know the channel have probably seen this tearing about. That's a fantastic, fast little model. Um, looks really good. So yeah, the big brother's gonna be going into the same scheme. I'll probably make up on my own decals for it, but we're gonna do all the foam work on it first, get that all straightened out. And we're just gonna have a basic foam airframe with just the, the unit in it and the battery, I'm not going to bother with re tracks or anything like that. Um, and uh, hopefully have a good bit of fun with it. The same goes for the F86. The F86 is going to be a, um, that's going to be a hand launcher as well. But like I say, just another project to go in the hangar. Um, I'm probably going to progress on this a little bit sooner. Um, I am waiting for bits for the F86 and so that is on hold. So I keep pointing in that direction, guys, because the box for the F86 is, is, is over there behind the camera. Um, right, well, that's pretty much everything for this evening. Again, shout out to Dave's RC. Cheers, Dave. Um, and uh, well, yeah, we'll sort of get some bits going on this. I'll do some updates on this. I expect you'll see other videos before the updates come on this. Um, hopefully try and get the P38 build video up and um, and we'll see what else happens over the next couple of days but I'm sure there's going to be a few more videos coming and uh, except that's, that's it guys I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching